Hi, my name is Veronica Thompson. I know y'all haven't seen me in a bit, but, you know, I just got some things to say. You know, um, mainly about Trump. You know, be back to that again. I told you before how flippy floppy he was, right? So now, the truth is out there. He has actually hung out and befriended Putin. You can tell. I mean, think about it. How many of you never met a person before in your first time in your life? And you shake their hand and then you rub them on the shoulder or on the back. You only do that when you know people. I don't know. I saw that. I don't know if y'all saw that. But isn't that some weird stuff? Because I feel this is only my opinion and only my opinion alone. I know there's other people out there that believe in what I'm about to say. Now, wouldn't it make sense why Putin wouldn't show proof of, of money if Putin gave him so many millions of dollars to mess up America? Mm, think about it. He was... he. He's kissing Putin's ass so bad that he's acting like he's a piece of shit coming out his ass. He don't want that to come out at all. But the truth is going to come out because, see, everybody who had anything to do with it is getting out. And everybody keeps talking about, whoa, our president is doing really good. He's really, he ain't doing good. You just fucking stupid. Why? Because you've been trumped. You've been trumped. This is not a game of cards. This is the game of our fucking lives, America. Do you really, are you thinking, if this motherfucker's in bed with Putin, America, we could die in our sleep. Because you remember, Russia is up when we sleep. And when we up, Russia is asleep. Mm, isn't that weird? And then think about it. When Trump got in office, all of a sudden, Russian ships were at our borders. Just sitting there. Tanks. That didn't tell y'all nothing neither. Because, yeah, Trump is doing good. He, he, he's really behind us. It's the people who's holding him back. Well, if we let him do what y'all want him to do, your ass is going to be screwed too. Because at the end of the whole game, remember what he said. He said he loved dumb people. And everyone y'all just speaking out, oh, I just love me some Trump. Trump is, Trump is just for himself. I mean, what you, you, even Stevie Wonder could see this. Come on. Get, get, get real. Get real. Stop being a dumb America and be a smart America like the old America you were supposed to be. Well, you're smart. Stop falling behind. We're supposed to be leading the nation. But right now, we the fucking laughing joke of the nation. America is a fucking comedy skit. And Trump had the nerve to get mad when it was a scene where Snoop was showing the, uh, shooting a bang gun at a clown that looked like him. Well, evidentially, you are the clown. You doing clown shit. You kissing up to the to the enemy. You, you might as well just say you're laying in bed with the enemy. And then you're going to come out talking about, well, we don't want transgenders. Another fucked up move to me, cause you you just so you just like to spit things out, like everybody's saying. All you do is just throw things out to throw off you and the connection in Russia. Yeah, you know, look, television shows everything. You can't tell the truth if the truth was glued to your face. You would just now, you know, that's not the truth. But yet you talking about fake news, and yet you put in after fake news. Mm. Because that sounds like somebody got something to hide. I mean, you don't have to be an investigator, you don't have to be an FBI agent to realize that this guy has something to hide. And when it all come out, everybody was talking about, oh, Trump is doing this and doing that. Egg in your face. And guess what? Oh, he just killed your white privilege. Everybody who think your white after he leaves, eh, is dead. You get the same privilege as everybody else. Fuck you. Because you're screwing over America. You're screwing us without Vaseline. And everybody's sitting there. The half that got sense, you know, the smart ones, <laughs> got sense, are saying, oh, hell no. And all of your dumb people that the president compliments you for being dumb, you're like, no, because our president, just give him a chance. Well, we keep giving him a chance, we're going to wake up dead. We're going to get bombed to motherfucking death. All right, and you don't have no job yet, and you ain't even got no medical coverage right now. So, how smart was this man doing for you? I don't see no jobs. You say, Cole, I seen 
other stuff go up in stock. I didn't see coal move up in stock. The rest of the world is in solar energy, and we're still trying to work with coal. I understand your coal miners need your job. No diss and no, but it's time to learn a new skill, damn it. Get in the now. You can't live in the past and expect the past is going to be there. White people, wake the fuck up. The past is gone. It's not coming back. We're going future. We're not going backwards. So, I don't understand why y'all want all this old America. Leave the old America the fuck alone and let's make America great right now. Let's make America something that somebody can look at and say, wow, I'm proud to be an American. Right now, I'm scared to death because every time you come out with your mouth, Mr. Trump, you fuck us good. I mean, you just say the most dumbest shit that anybody could think of. It's sad that you are president because to me, you think you're doing good. To me, you think you're doing good because in reality, mm, you're not doing good. Even Koch did better than you. Come on. Even Bush did better than you. Come on. And you talking about Washington? They all did better than you. Because first of all, they're not a punk. They, ain't, they didn't suck dick to make things right. See, I don't mean physically. I mean literally. Because every time it's time for you to talk, you always say it like something in your mouth that you think you're doing good. Yeah. Stop poking, baby. You're a grown ass man. You're not a child anymore. Them days are done. The next time you look like a kid, you'll be a senior citizen, okay? So, stop. You'll be a super duper senior citizen, you know? So, you got to think. You're talking about some foreigners coming to America? Well, check this out. Let's think about this here. If your great-great-grandfather, who was in the KKK, um, didn't find their way to America... His construction business wouldn't have went nowhere. Hmm. And you would have been in the original country you started at. Still struggling. Probably trying to get to America. Ooh, isn't that funny? But think about what you'll be saying. Because everything you're saying is all hateful. Everything you're saying is very hateful, very cruel, very unsensitive. You got to care about the people. This is your president job is to care for the people. Not care for yourself. Not saying any idiotic thing that could come to your brain to insult one group, one group. Did you know you're going to mess us up so bad that the next president is going to really have to do a whole lot of ass kissing and apologizing to clean up the bullshit you left? Because I don't think you're going to make it. I don't care. I, my president, I, I didn't vote for you. I didn't vote for Hillary either. Because I didn't think neither one of y'all was qualified to run America. I need somebody that I have confidence in. I ain't no confidence in you. When I saw you, to me, you was just a TV person. You're not a president person. You know, every time you open your mouth, it's all about Obama. Obama. But guess what? I don't care what you say. Obama did better than you. Obama did better than you. You think this sign and stuff, it makes you look like you're doing something. Half of that stuff is all, everything about you is what your name is. Your name is Trump. Mm. So, what you're saying to America, I chumped y'all niggas. I chumped y'all. You voted for me, you got chumped. And that's what you did. You voted for him, and guess what? You got chumped. You're not playing cards. This is not the game where Trump cards are the top and they're the winning cards. No. You're playing the game that doesn't need Trumps. Trumps is the losing one. Because the only person he's worrying about is saving his own butt. Because, see, like I said, he got some money from Putin to destroy America. And thank you, Congress, for being a more of a man standing up and fighting to stop this man from messing up anymore. Because if we don't, we're going to be dead. Because evidently, half of y'all Americans don't know shit about politics. You know, y'all keep trying to think that if you vote somebody with money in office, that's going to get you right. Dumb. Dumb. You know why? Because when they get in office, they already got money. They ain't got to be responsible for you. They don't even give a fuck about you. You know why? Because 9 out of 10 you're poor. 9 out of 10 you're black. 9 out of 10 you're Spanish. 9 out of 10 you're Mexican. And then the, the dumb white people, they take it all jobs. Well, motherfucker, get a better education, you get the damn job. 
Stop getting stuck in the coal mine and get in the computer field, building field, cable vision. It's mad jobs out there. You don't have to work in a coma and get good money. There's jobs out there. All you need is a high school diploma and you can pull in $80,000 a year. I think that's good money. That's what you should be fighting for. To be up to date with everybody else. America is so far behind. We like a child that got left back 30 fucking times. Okay. We're sitting here with a president who don't understand what. Our lives are at stake. That's why this man is saying, oh, we really messed up with Russia. Of course, because he went, he got paid to do something and he didn't get it done. And because Congress forced him to sign something, which he shouldn't have signed in the first place. If he felt like he didn't have to sign it, he shouldn't have signed it. He should have been. See, but he has no balls. He's just a man with a dick. He has no backbone. That's why he can't fuck with Putin. Putin is a man with backbone. When he met him, he knew he was pussy when he first met him. I ain't talking about the meeting y'all saw on TV. I'm talking about when he was doing the um, Miss Americas. Remember, he was in Russia, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because if you think about it, why was so, Russia was so happy to have Trump in office? What state is fucking happy against us? Mm, that's something to think about. A state... They hates America, want to damn near bomb us the fuck off the planet. Their people are celebrating and drinking when Trump won. And then he comes in and he's like, all right, Putin is this and Putin is that. Yeah, Putin, 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 Putin. Yeah, we understand. We know. We know. If, the, if nobody else knows the black community, we know. Mm-hmm. Y'all been sleeping, we're in bed, and I don't mean physically. I mean, like, y'all know each other like buddies. Y'all damn near brethren. So the world don't supposed to know your brethren because you came out and told the fucking truth. You said Putin and I are friends. Oops. Oops. And then you came back. Well, I, don't, I, know, I, don't, I think I met him. You sound like a fool. And then all you've been doing is sound like a fool. So you know that clown thing that you was so mad about, Snoop? You should actually put that on because you are a laughing joke to other countries. These people thinking that you're doing good, you're not. And every black person that think you the shit, think you're dumb. I ain't trying to be funny. You're dumb. You dumb. Because after he finished fucking with everybody else, they're saying black people, well, your ass going to be fired too. And you might mess around and bring it all the way back and we all fucking get lynched. Yeah, but y'all be the first to go because, you know, you, you closer to them. You know, Trump ain't can't do nothing wrong. Well, guess what? He's doing a whole lot wrong. He's about to kill America money. He's about to kill the strength of America through other relationships with other countries. He's messing up our economy. He's about to kill off the American citizens. And you talking about he's doing good? He's doing good. I don't know. Look, I, I'm, I'm in Nevada and they got legal marijuana. But I can never get that damn hard to think that the president is doing woo. No, he's doing woo. He's about to get us pow pow from other states. Why you want to get rid of people when we have war? Because you on the, you for the other side. You are, a, like the man said, who came and shot up the other people. That's a damn shame he did that. I don't think it's right to kill nobody. But to put you out of office, you need to go. You need to go. That's right. Trump. Do the hump, the hump, and get the hell out the office. Do the hump, the hump, and get out. It's time. It's time for you to go. This is not a game show. These are our American lives, our children, our next generation. You're destroying everything. You're trying to destroy the Constitution. You're trying to do too much. And I don't like it. And I don't care. I am a born, breed American. Remember, I'm a motherfucking, what you call, immigrant too. But unfortunately, your ancestors and your ancestors snatched my people up and brought us here. We didn't ever ask to come here. We didn't ask to come here. We can't even go to Africa. Africa don't even want us. So we can't even go home. We have to call America home. So if I have to call America home, I'm calling it out. You are a phony. Your name is exactly what the hell you're doing. You're bamboozling. You're fooling. You're conning and misleading people. That's what your name means. That's what you're doing to the American citizens. And everybody believe in Trump. You are a chump. You are a real chump. You are the best chump ever because he loves you. Remember dumb people? Um, he praised you. But you know what he didn't like? 
He don't like poor people. So if you one of them white people that just as poor as a black person, oh, I feel for you. Because you go right off in the basket with the, the same people that you said, I don't like black people. Well, you going off with them. Yeah. You're going to be right there with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's going to happen to you. And then y'all y'all sitting here doing more violence than black people. So you're going to cause your own self to go in the motherfucking FEMA camps. Because y'all are danger to yourselves and others. They won't be doing that to us. Because a lot of us is not doing all that. You have, yeah, you have some idiots that still, but it's not like, oh, every black person. No, I'm seeing more crimes, high rise by Caucasians than ever before. I don't know what everybody else is seeing. I don't know if you're actually paying attention. I don't know if you're really there or are you on point. I think you're all on some dopey, dizzy stuff. If you think this president is doing good, this shit, vote me in. You'll probably think I'm doing bad when I get things done and, and your health care is right. And, and you ain't got to worry about somebody coming in and changing it. We got to make it where it makes sense. And you know what? I'm going to even give you a tip, Mr. Trump. Now, check this out. If you're really on the point and you really want to do something great, you legalize marijuana, right? For every $50, you take $7 from that. Put that towards fixing the deficit. It goes in a special bank that nobody could touch and it just goes directly into the deficit every year. I guarantee you in six years we could fix our own deficits. We could take a trillion dollar bill and turn it down to a million dollar bill. We can. But we have to legalize marijuana in every state to take that money. You can't just take it from the few states because then you're gonna you're gonna hurt the idea of making money where you can make money, go to schools, go to cops, and go and fix the deficit. And it won't come out the taxpayer pocket. It won't come out of your rich ass people's pocket. But it will just come out the people who are spending money to buy medical marijuana or what they call recreational smoke. You could do a lot, but you ain't got the raw people. You ain't got the lot of people, and you ain't got to get us killed. You like a, a like the worst bully ever, the punk bully, the one that if somebody stand up taller than you and bigger than you, you get scared. Don't get scared. Put on your big man pants and, and come on and fight. You know, you talk about the military and everybody. You know, you're not even qualified to even talk about no military. Yo, if I remember right, mm, I think you was what? Drafted? And for some reason, drafted twice and somehow you didn't get to go. Pussy. I mean, excuse me. Punk. Oh, I'm sorry. Scaredy cat. So that's how much you loved America and we voted for you. Not well, not me, because I, I had better sense. I seen where you was coming from. You got too happy with that fire stuff. You like to fire people. And you got too happy with it. I don't I don't like you because you don't like America. You hate our motherland. So anybody who hates my motherland is against the state. And if you're against the state, you're against our army, you're against our generals, you get you're against all of us. We need Congress to push you out. You need to be gone. And everybody you hire, take with you. And let them be right, rehired by a new president that actually knows something about America and how to help America. In fact, how about this? I think every man should just stop. Just give it a break. Because you know, you're, in your mind, a woman can't run a state. I bet you the right woman could run the state. I can even give you a woman who could do a better job than you can, Trump. And I know she can. Whoopi Goldberg. She could be a better president than you. She's more on what's going on in the world and what the people need and more touched to reality than you are. You do reality TV, but you don't do reality you know, the everyday working Joe life. You don't know nothing about that. You never did. So, check this out. We need a woman president that's strong. We need a woman president that could do the damn job. So what? All the presidents in other states are like, I don't want a woman. It's not about you. It's not about you. We need things done with some a little care, a little sensitivity, and a little topping of love. That's what we need. Because right now we got a little OD of hate with a little sprinkle of hate. 
and, and, and a whole lot extra of murder, murder, kill, kill, die, die. It is is that's the, we going in the wrong direction. But if y'all don't see this, guess what? You can actually write something. If you feel that you white and I'm wrong and I'm a dumb black person, guess what? Come at me. Because I got something to say back to you too. Because, you know, I'm just going to say what the president said. He loves dumb people. <laughs> That's a compliment to all of y'all that think that he's doing great. You got to be dumb. Because he loves you. He loves you. And you stand up for him. You're there for him. Like, yo... My president is doing good. Well, if you think all of y'all dying and, and and if you think you're going to have a job, well, how are you going to have a job if you have no health care? And you get sick of the job and the job is not obligated to cover your health care. Hmm. And you really need a medicine that costs about like $50,000. But if you had a job, you'd have coverage to get that for half the price. But you have no coverage. So you talking about the same tens of thousands of people that were going to be off of Medicaid? You can actually count half of them people as being dead because that's what's going to happen to them. Because, you know, your president is doing good. He's murdering America, but he's doing good. Yeah, that, that's, that's real good. I would have never thought of that. Yo, there's a bunch of little geniuses out there that's kill America. But you know what? White America, poor white America, you're going with us. You better chill out and see. Get up to date, babies. They got free GEDs. They got training classes. You could go get a skill. You could do all these things instead of sitting there waiting for coal mine. And you want to work in the coals to make money. And in return, you're going to get sick and then you're going to die. Then who's going to take care of your family after that? Because there's no health coverage. So how are you going to take care of your family? So is he really doing good? You know, I'm going to end this with one thing. And I, I hope you really like it. Brother, I know this is your song, but it's just a little rendition of it. And it's no dedication or stealing from you. Okay? But, yo, Trump, why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, man, why you fucking lying? You're lying to America. You're lying so real. You're lying like it's a game, but this is not kill. This is killing of America, but kill, kill, die. But I don't understand. You're still standing there telling lies. The lies that you're telling is about to get us up in smoke. Man, people in Nevada, they want to smoke for a joke. But you're about to get us all race off the planet Earth. Because you can't lie good and you have no courage. I don't understand. You think that you're running things that you're doing very well. But you're trying to send the whole bit of America straight down to fucking hell. Mm, it's amazing when you think about it that we voted for a chump. How do you think about that so much? Oh, I think you just chumped the fuck up. But, oops, did I say that really loud and clear? Because, see, I don't care about no Trump. If y'all was him, I would grow my own hair. Um, no diss, but the way you diss Americas and you, you're dissing the everybody else, well, this is back to you. You need to stop lying or stop being a dumb blonde. True, true. Peace out. This is to you.